frustration mounts from parents as the number of hoax threats involving local schools is growing. Police responded to two Missouri schools today, one of them in St. Louis, for unfounded threats. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal reports on a promise from law enforcement about tracking down anyone responsible. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfax over St. Mary's High School. Police responded in droves following a shooting threat that was eventually unfounded. The uncle of one St. Mary's student is still reeling from the deadly shooting at Central and Visual Performing Arts where his son is a student. It's just too much. It's too much. This, this world today is it's, it's too much. Police in Columbia, Missouri, responded to an unfounded threat at Battle High School in mid-Missouri Tuesday, and Chesterfield police announced a student has been identified as the source of a social media threat involving Marquette High School last week and could face charges. We take all of these threats incredibly seriously. The special agent in charge of the FBI's St. Louis field office says following the deadly shooting at Central Visual and Performing Arts, hoax threats have increased. It tends to be very, very easy to track them down. And we will, within a matter of hours, if not within the next couple of days, wind up inside somebody's living room talking to them and their parents about the threat that they made and the potential harm they caused and the resources they wasted. And Greenberg says those threats have consequences. These same agents or officers would be responding to calls for service or responding to other violent incident crimes that are happening in our area if they weren't chasing down these hoax threats. So they do come at a real cost for us and there is a five-year statutory a sentence available on, in the federal system for people who commit these hoax threats. Greenberg says hoax threats like the one experienced here at St. Mary's also force some victims to relive the trauma they've already experienced from last month's deadly shooting. Reporting from South St. Louis, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.